no! Oh, that's why. Oh, how's it going? My name is Jason Nash. Welcome to my. I'm always about to come up. This is Nicorette. It's terrible for you. Um, guys, what is up? I am here in uh, Massachusetts. I'm on Cape Cod, and you're probably wondering uh, why is this old guy on YouTube? Well, it's where life has taken me. I was a stand-up comedian, sort of. Well, I was. And I made some movies, sort of. No, I did. And now I am a YouTuber. And so I'm here and I, uh, I make videos. Um, and I'm, I'm on Cape Cod. And uh, a lot of people have been, you know, uh, I had a lot of, a lot of people uh, been watching the channel lately, which is great. I've never had so many uh, people come and watch the channel and watch me. Uh, I think I'm deserving. I think I'm entertaining. Uh, handsome as f um, No, but um, yeah, uh, it's been, it's been a, a good week. We did a bunch of videos. We did a video. We gave my mom a car on uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Or Wednesday, we bought my mom a car. Hope you guys like that video. And then before that, I've had a lot of videos where I talk about my relationship with Trisha Paytas, who is a wonderful, smart, caring, uh, beautiful woman. And um, and so in my uh, my last video to her, uh, we, I, I asked her to come to Boston, and she indeed did come to Boston, and she's here with me on Cape Cod. And um, we were just um, we were just filming next door. We had a great night last night. Things things went really well. Um, she was like just she got along with my family really well. We noticed that um, my mom uh, has the same and Chris, Trisha have the same Chanel sunglasses. Only Trisha has um, like diamond bling on the side, uh, which was really funny. Which prompted uh, someone in the car to say, "I'll get the glue gun." It's a good joke. But yeah, Trisha and I are, are here. We, we really have been getting along really well. Uh, but then we just started filming next door um, in, in our room, and we got into a massive, massive fight. So um, I think we made the decision to no longer uh, film together. Um, so yeah, that's where, that's where we are. That's where we are right now. I don't... I don't know, you know, it just seemed like whatever I said. I guess I was making jokes during what was a serious video. And I'm like, not supposed to make jokes, I guess, um, on serious videos. I didn't know they were serious videos. I mean, I knew they were serious, um, but, but I just saw her again. And she said, oh, yeah, I just think we're different. I think you, like, make jokes and stuff. And, and she's, um, she likes to make, you know, sort of Schindler's List. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I don't know what's been going on with me. I'm trying to think. Things have been pretty good. Um, it's, you know, I had something happen uh, last week with all of this where um, a lot of my friends were saying, oh, don't, don't go back and forth with these videos. I would get these texts uh, from my friends like, why are you doing this? It, uh, it makes you look bad. Um, and unsolicited advice, not advice that I asked for, but, and also advice from people who are 20 years younger than me, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Certainly when it comes to YouTube, like, I don't really know what's best. Um, but, uh, you know, the reason why I went back and forth with Trisha was because, you know, it was the first time on this channel where I could where I really took a, the moment to just be myself and and talk and and that's like for any for all you guys who do YouTube out there, like I, I know like one of the main things that's always bothered me about this channel was that it's all about you know I rely on like David a lot I rely on Liza a lot I put David in my thumbnails I put Liza in my thumbnails and because the videos do better when you know someone big is in the thumbnail or whatever or and so I've never really never made the channel me you know what I mean and it's kind of scary to sit there sometimes I'll watch youtubers who have like no like you know not a lot of subscribers and by the way like you know for those of you like sometimes people call to me like yeah I'm on YouTube but I only get like 30,000 views and like that's like incredible like and, and that's not even like it's not even like a patronizing statement that is like an honest statement like if you're getting like 20,000 views on a video if you're getting 10,000 views on a video if you're getting 
you know, I'd say anything over 10,000 views, I think is freaking incredible. I mean, I know somebody who gets, I think she gets, uh, you know, like 60,000 views a, a video, and she makes like $12,000 a month. And let, let's be clear, I mean, like, for, for me, you know, a lot of the guys that, that, that I work with, they're younger, they can take more risks, it's only themselves, they don't have to worry about um, two kids, they don't have to worry about, you know, their future, they have a long life ahead of them to make money, but for me, like, that whole thing that happened with Trisha, it was a lot of things, it, it, it gave me, for the first time, it gave me a chance to talk to you guys and to just be myself, and, um, and I read, I read a lot of the comments. A lot of people just liked that I was in my car, and they were like, "Well, where is he?" And I think that you know, it, it was, it's the last week. Those response videos. If you thought that like the whole thing was fake, or if you thought like, "Oh, they're just doing this for views," it's like, you know, I'm in Boston. I don't have time to make vlogs. So, I, but I need to post. I need to make money. And so, that's what I'm doing. And to get a text message from my friends, like, why are you doing this? Like, it really hurt me. It really was like, like, you know what? Like, it, it made me mad. Like, I was like, oh. it, it made me so mad. Like, and I, and I got the text and I was just like, I was with David when I got the text and I was like, that, like, why, why would they say that? Like, and I wanted to text back, but I didn't. I just texted back like, yeah, okay, guys, I, I hear what you're saying, you know. And, um, but... This is a chance for for me to talk, and for me to uh, like just be myself, and that's probably been the only good thing that came out of all this. The the breakup was was not fake. There was nothing about it. I I, I never in in my wildest dreams thought that oh Trisha and I would break up and there would be like all these views and and people would come to the channel and new people would come and everyone would want to hear me talk for once. And, like, I, I didn't know that. I had no idea that people would care at all. I mean, lots of times I just kind of go through life thinking, like, oh, well, you know, like, Trisha's sort of the main person. You know, she's the one that's, like, been on YouTube for a long time. When we go out, you know, I don't get recognized that much. I'd say Trisha gets recognized, like, ten times more than I do. And it's fine. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm cool that way. Um, but I liked, I liked getting in my car and just sort of, like talking and if the reason that people were watching was because they wanted me to hear they want me to say something about Trisha and the relationship if that was the reason that they were there then I don't really care and also at the same time it's like it's like this is this is YouTube okay and and I and the way I look at YouTube is like um you know it's not Game of Thrones you know, we're not sitting writing scripts. We're at the end of the day, guys. It, it it comes down to just it does come down to views, and it does come down to like, hey, I, I want people to watch me, and if I need to get people in the door by talking about Trisha or whatever, if that's what they kind of want to hear, then I think that's great. But the the point is, is like I have two kids, and if I have an opportunity. You know, I stand behind those videos. I think those videos are good. I got a lot of texts from other friends like, Jason, that was really funny. I really like that joke about, um, you know, I'm going to die alone. So, you know, I'm going to continue making videos. I'll continue making response videos if I have to. I actually am going to have to make response videos because Trisha and I cannot film together. Um, and uh, the fight we just had was really, really dumb. I don't even remember it. And it was like two minutes ago. Um, I basically, I, I mocked her. She said, she said something like, okay guys, well, that's the video. And then I go, okay guys, that's the next video. Like that. And that, that upset her. Um, and so, but I've heard her mock me all the time. I've heard her, she does a really funny impression of me, which is like, hey guys, what's up, I'm Jason Nash. And she makes me sound like Cartman from South Park. And I think it's hilarious. And, um... And so the point is, it's just like, Trish is crazy. No, um, no. The point is, is that, you know, we're different and I just don't think we'll be filming. And that's sort of why I, um, I backed out of the live show is because it's just a source of like a lot of fights. 
because last night was like incredible. It's it's I, I think YouTube, my friend Brandon Calvillo, he um he looks at life a lot differently than everybody else, and you know he, he I know he he thinks like this whole thing is like really toxic, and you know he's right. And I guess I could turn the camera off and not make videos anymore, but. I am enjoying, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying, you know, getting a response and, 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 and trying to grow my channel and, and just like grow as a YouTuber um, and to have like more confidence just to talk and stuff um, and to see, to see like, oh, well, does somebody want to watch a 45 year old guy talk to the camera? Like, well, maybe they do. Um, so yeah, so last night was, it was really, it was really great. I think that um, to we're just different. We're, we're YouTube's. It's kind of evil, you know what I mean? It it it, it kind of is. It's like like if you could have as soon as Trisha and I turned that camera, we had the best time last night. Trisha's sitting there talking with Wyatt, like about like guitar and like the songs he wants to play and. And she's she's being like this this like just this great person like she's she's she said this thing she's like oh maybe maybe you know you could um, play a song at your dad's live show in San Jose, and you could see like his eyes where he was like huh like oh like really like oh my god and I was like yeah maybe maybe we could do that you know maybe you could come up and um, I'll talk to David about it maybe and um, meanwhile David's at home like no that's not happening David just turns to Zane no not happening but. But the point is, um, <clears throat> you know, when we were out last night, we went and got ice cream. My dad was talking to Trisha. My mom loved Trisha. Um, Trisha loved my nanny, Susie, who's here with us, and her daughter, Rachel, um, and who you probably saw in my, my video with the car. Um, and then, but as soon as we, like, as soon as we turned that camera on, we just... We started fighting like 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 really really bad, and um, so I guess I guess the right thing to do is to I guess I look at relationships like this. It's and I'm older now. Like I I wish I'd done this when I was married, but like I I was I guess I look at relationships as sort of like you just need to like shape and trim as you go and so I guess we'll try that I guess we'll try not filming together um, and maybe that will be good I'm not saying that we won't film together at some point but may, or maybe right now it's just too raw and too real um, but um, I don't know we just got that camera on and and it just totally exploded in there anyway I saw a really funny comment sorry I ran out of tape I saw a really funny comment that said, um, I, uh, I saw a really funny com anyway, I saw a really funny comment, uh, which said, uh, Jason has Stockholm Syndrome, which was like a really funny tweet, um, and, uh, probably some truth to that. Stockholm, Stockholm Syndrome is when, uh, you sort of identify with your captor, so, like, people will, like, so let's say someone takes someone hostage for, like, seven years, and they, like, keep them in their basement, um, the person in the basement starts to identify with the captor and feeling sympathy for the captor. And so that, and so, yeah, I mean, I guess you could look at me and say, um, you could look at it that way. You could say that, yeah, I have Stockholm syndrome. You could look at it like Trisha's keeping me in a basement, I guess you could look at it like that. Or you could look at it the way I look at it, which is I'm 45 and I found someone who is like it's right there and it's all right there and then it's like so great and then when it but when it goes off the rails come on in hun but when it goes off the rails I was just comparing you to um, I was oh. talking about this tweet where someone said I have Stockholm Syndrome do you know what that because is? because you said it in our chicken parm video oh I did? when I posted the chicken parm video it made me look even worse because you're literally like <laughs> And you know Stockholm syndrome is? Like, I feel like that's me. That, <laughs> oh, they fall in love that? with their captor. <laughs> Why didn't you cut it out? No, oh, Jason Trash, come here. Oh, now we're filming together. Now I look like this whole video is mocking, is, is a total liar. You are a total liar. Well, we just said we weren't going to film, but and whatever. It doesn't matter. Who cares? It's YouTube. 
That's the other thing. It's like, it's YouTube. Who cares? So stupid. See, this is what this is what we got to do though. From now on, I come into your channel. It's like a crossover episode. Now it's time for jokes. <laughs> Look at this fat belly. Look at these on your eyes. So old. So old. Oh, are you bipolar again? You just said we weren't filming. Now we're back together. Crazy. Um, also, David bought three of these shirts. The day I put them out on sale, he told me that. Yeah, you you can. Uh... Trishshirts.com. <laughs> I think it's funny. I got one for Jason, too, in blue. Well, that'll get demonetized as a thumbnail. Your boobs are too big. Isn't that unfair? A big, I put the shirt on, honestly, because I was like, oh, I shouldn't go in with my swimsuit because Jason hates... It won't. It, that won't be the thumbnail because it's, Let's like, it's covered. Sit down. I'm going to start talking. And you Why can are you in a lawn chair? Because it's a good angle. Well, so, yeah, so you could help because Jason said, I said, oh, what are you still filming? He's like, yeah, I got to think of something to say. I don't know. I'll have to think of some jokes or something. <laughs> and you know me. I don't have any shortage of words. I have a lot to say. So go okay, on. I'm going to talk. And okay. you can chime in here and there. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, do I have Stockholm Syndrome? <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> or, this is exactly what I was saying. Okay. Or, have I met somebody who's so great, who's so wonderful, and... Um, it, you know, and I just don't want to throw that away. That's basically what I was saying. Um, and so, yeah, I don't know. That's that's sort of the update here. <laughs> I had a bunch of jokes, but I can't remember them. You can say the jokes. Babe, give, give, me a, give me a give me a give me a suggestion. Your channel now, babe. You can say jokes. I get it. That's your thing. I don't. know. Give me a suggestion. I'll improvise something. No, it's not whose lines it anyway. No, it's it is. Lies, it's babe. my channel. It can be oh, whose yeah, lines okay. it anyway. Okay. Go ahead. Go. <laughs> I'll take a suggestion for the audience, please. Wait, what do you want me to give you? Well, imp any kind of suggestion, just a word. Any word at all. Like, that doesn't, doesn't have to do with us, just a yeah, word. Have you ever been to an improv show? No, actually, I hate improvers. They're so annoying. <laughs> okay. I hate, you like, I hate, can we just you say? like whose line? Improvers, the office literally makes fun of it. When Michael Scott goes to improv class, like, they make fun of improvers because that's how they actually are. Like, improvers are so stupid. Like, so, they're just so awful. Like, hey, guys. Give us, give us a subject basketball. Okay. But all those guys are improvisers. Like Steve, Cur uh, Steve Curl is like the greatest, one of the greatest improvisers in Second City. And they're awful. I get, I get your point. I love. The Steve reason Curl. he's so funny is because he's a great improviser. But go ahead, give me a suggestion. Any word? I mean, I don't know, babe. Babe, perfect. <laughs> um, Trisha and I are still dating, and uh, wait, what? Well, I think so. We are. I don't know. If we even wanted this revelation on my channel. Are we? No, I saved it for mine. Wait, Trisha, really? Trisha, I walked in there and Trisha goes, how's the video going? I go, it's going okay. I'm doing the best I can. She goes, did you say that I love you? And I said, no, <laughs> not yet. And I said, you can um, you can buy an I love you shout out if you want. If you want to PayPal Jack. Yeah? Oh, hold on. Who's that? Oh, no, we don't. Oh, oh, hi. Hi. Oh, no, for how, for oh, oh, I don't know. I, I thought you were housekeeping. Sorry. <laughs> so someone looking for housekeeping. He's just shouting. The other, the other night we were doing our podcast. Are we dating? Wait, can we just stop? Are we dating again? I don't know. Wait, you just said. <laughs> you can't go back and forth. This is hard to go stop, crazy. Stop taking, stop. Well, I misspeak a lot. I'm old. I, my brain doesn't So that work. was a misspeak? I meant to say when Trisha and I were dating. No, this is the torture you put me through. I'm not putting you through. We just had a huge fight. That made no sense to me. We're dating. I don't know what you... I don't care if you say it or not. You remind me of Charlie. Charlie does that. She dives on the bed and then she talks with her face in the mattress. <laughs> that is so funny. Um, Babe, we are. I hate... This is the one we got in a fight in the first place in January. It's like to say, I don't know if we are or not. We're dating. I'm here with your freaking family, man. Oh, I love. I wasn't saying it in that way. I'm like, I love your family. But I'm here with your family. Yeah, you're right. We're, we, we're everything a couple is. <laughs> we can't film together anymore. Duh. On your channel. Yeah, Jason's banned from my main channel. Vlog channel. <laughs> I cannot wait until like we're in LA and like we're hanging out with Jeffree Star and he's like and you're like shooting a video with him and he's like oh well, Jason why don't you jump in and, and I go and I go no nah, I'm banned yeah you are good <laughs> at least you're learning I'm banned from Trisha's channel you're learning babe I'm learning now that we're on your channel I can let's let's make the jokes do you want me to come at you with the jokes I don't care do you feel like do you feel like I listen to you yes 
Do you feel like that I'm I'm intentionally out to get you? No. Okay. Do you feel like I when I make jokes, I'm trying to hurt your feelings? No, uh, can I expand on that? Please. No, I don't think you are intentionally trying to hurt my feelings, even the fat joke and all that stuff. I don't think you are. It's more hurtful to, and I'm sensitive to because that you, all jokes come from some sort of truth, right? And so, like, the fact that you're even thinking about that is to make the joke, right? Like, I explained in my videos, like, okay, crazy joke, slutty joke, dumb jokes. Those are, like, right. okay, right. that comes off of people's tongue. But it's very rare that, like, I'm a fat joke is what I'm saying. And I'm not trying to go back to this. I'm just saying, sure. like, the fact that you, like, thought of that and it, like, rolled off your tongue, even when you make jokes... Like, I'm like, oh, well, it's coming from some sort of truth in his brain. So I'm like, it kind of just, like, my sensitiveness is like, mm -hmm. oh, like, that sucks that that's, like, the thing he's, like, thinking about right. when it comes to me. But you know, like, Zane's not fat. So when I say Zane... Why like, do you what? keep bringing up Zane? Because, like, I make a fat joke about Zane, and, like, Zane's not fat. Did you see the tweet that's like, poor Zane? <laughs> no, I didn't. This. No, I didn't. What did it say? Yes, yes. No, no. Maybe you saw it. Oh, yeah, maybe I did. You no, just tell it. me. Don't hold the phone. I can't remember. I can't... I it said something like, poor Zane, like... Can I, and can I just, because it was one of your favorite things. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, I love it. I mean, he going to find this, because you favored it, and I know you saw it, so I was like. It was so, watching Jason's, when I'm like, when I was like watching every Jason's every move, I, uh, I literally was like going to his like favorite tweets to see what he was like favoriting during all this. And like the ones, I don't know if he like I didn't do anything on Twitter. No, you were favoriting. Those. I was? So, I was just like. If someone stuck up for me, I'd, I'd favorite it. No, but also I feel like you accidentally favorite some things. I don't think so. Because sometimes you favorite things. I'm like, what does that even mean? I'm not an idiot. Huh? I'm not an idiot. You get a lot of DMs. Why are you going through my DMs? I'm not. I, I, You're I just not said, supposed to go through I'm my not. DMs. I just said someone sent a message to you. But why would you go? We're, we're looking for a Zane tweet. You're not there to go through my DMs. No, baby, baby. I'm on, your, I'm on Twitter. And you have a thing that pops up that says someone so just sent you a message. I didn't. I have. Well, that's because left. I'm in those those group chats like uh, Dick Bait and like all of David's fans. They 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 put you in these group chats, but I never can win them. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. It just popped up. I wasn't in your DMs. My fans too. I'm looking for it. It was really funny. We're wasting the whole day and everyone's out there. I know. Somewhere. I know. We gotta go. This babe. is really. You can bad. keep talking. Keep talking. No, I, I thought we were doing good until we got off on this Zane. Oh, this is it. <laughs> this was great. I think that you didn't favorite this, so maybe you didn't see it. It says, I think the real victim of the Atrish Peters and Nat Jason Nash saga is poor at Zane. <laughs> Baby, you ain't fat. You are the real skinny legend. Zane, you are not fat. Because you, you brought him up are in your video. You're the real skinny legend. Because that's somebody that we make jokes about. Like, we'll make that joke. Zane will make that joke at my expense, too. We don't need to get into it. It's so it's so <laughs> over. But whatever. I love you, Zane. And, and, I, and I love. All of the point is, I'm I not love Zane. all of the people, all my friends in the Vlog Squad and whatever. Oh, and Jesus Christ! <laughs> I love everybody. This is when you turn into a twelve-year-old. Shout out to my squad. It's the Vlog Squad. <laughs> I don't just say squad. We are the Vlog Squad, and we are pretty cool. You know how cool it is to be like I'm in the Vlog Squad. Vlog Squad is trash. Oh, I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> I think it's really cool. I miss everybody a lot. <laughs> Really miss everybody. Why don't you offer them to fly to Boston? They don't. They don't have that body. Aww. Yeah, like sometimes we see stuff like that. I'm like, oh. <laughs> A lot of girls would be like, "Oh, you only like them for my body," but Trisha's like, "Yeah, I like that." <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part of your video is like best sex I've ever had, and I was like, oh, I was so excited. Like, I love when you say stuff like that because it's like that's all I need to hear is that I'm sexy and attractive. Every twenty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you said that to me once. You were like, it's been, "Babe, it's been twenty minutes. You haven't complimented me." Oh, that was a joke, obviously. <laughs> I know it was a joke. I know it was a joke. Okay, but I liked what you were saying before. So you don't, you know that like I'm not out to intentionally hurt you. Yes. And you, but and but but so then what happens is is if I'm on camera with you and I start making jokes, and they, well, th this is what happens, and this has nothing to do with you. If I'm on camera with you and I'm just sitting there, I feel like the boyfriend that's just like. I feel like some of your previous boyfriends that aren't, aren't bringing anything to the table. Babe, can, I, can I explain to you, though? Like the YouTubers I watch, they're boyfriends that aren't YouTubers, and when they bring them on camera, it's like they are kind of... It, and I'm not saying I want you to be like that because that's not how you are, but I'm just saying like just it's fine to be real because... Wait, what? Just dressing? No. It's like I, I feel like in real life, even when you're around my family, you're very quiet. A lot of times people are like, what's wrong with Jason? It's because you kind of just like let me be me, and you don't have to like... 
we're not in David's vlog where you have to think of a joke in a bit. It's like, right. I, I, that's that's my channel. I just like it when you're just a real person. And I think that's why I was saying your videos have done well where you're talking straight to camera because like, you're like being like very real in those videos. And like, I know people who follow me appreciate that a lot more because it's like, there's some authenticity to you. It's not like it's just a bit, a bit, bit, bit. Right, also, right. No, I know. I know that, that, that's what this, the beginning of the video was about. It was about how I, I've, I've, I've liked just talking to camera and that the fact that some of my friends were like, don't don't make these videos. I was like, well, no, I, I, I think this is the time to make these videos so I can, like, grow my channel and like, get some confidence just, just being me. Well, I am proud of you for, like, not really, like, listening to them in that sense because you listen to your friends a lot, so I kind of, like... I do listen. I do value their opinion a lot. So, I, but in this case, I'm, like, kind of happy that you kind of still just did your own thing even though, like, people are telling you not to, like, because I think it just... It does make you... These always make you look better. I still look crazy in these videos. Also, babe, the reason I was pushing, like, are we dating or not, I just want to, like... Well, it's back on my channel, so we we can't just go back and forth. But like on my channel, it's just like saying like I don't like to be humiliated, so I don't want you to be in like a David vlog, like pretending that you're having sex with somebody. You know what I mean? Because like that hurts me. You know? Mhm. Mm I hear you. I just don't want you to do that stuff. And when I brought it up to David, David was like, "I'm not gonna have Jason make out with someone six hours after you guys broke up." I'm like, "Yes, you would. That's exactly no, what he would do." No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't do that. Well, okay, let's not talk it? about him because he'll get upset that we're dragging him into it. No, oh, I talked about him a lot in my video. Oh, great. Oh, well. What are you talking about? His thumbnail was talking to Trisha Paytas about her breakup. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, we, should, we should watch his video. If I had read David's it. text, it would totally expose him as an actual, like, sweet person. He, like, sent me the nicest, most genuine text ever when I got on the plane. And I was like, holy cow, nicer than any text Jason has sent me. It was, like, just the most, like, thoughtful, like, well-thought-out text. Nicer than any text I sent you. Yeah. I flew you to Boston and you got the credit. <laughs> no, Jason has, sometimes he's really good with words. When he asked me to come to Boston before his video, because his video wouldn't post, when he asked me, I like started like literally crying because he's like, oh, my heart says it's a bad idea, but I don't want to lose you. And the way he was doing it wasn't in one text. It was like the text where it's like, this is a bad idea, but. It might be, text, might be a bad idea. This might be a bad idea. Text. But text so you were seeing the dot 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 and it was like it was like a reality show i was like what's he gonna say next Am I getting picked or not? and then you're like i don't i don't want to lose you i was like oh my god and he's like i can't wait to see your face and those t-i-t-t-i-e-s gotta cut that out <laughs> leave it okay all right well we should go yeah I add my kids are in the cool literally oh we're wasting all day and i want chicken fingers you can end it without me Okay, see you later. I'll be there soon. I gotta upload. Okay, bye. Well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. That was it. Um, I'll be back with another video soon. Um, but we're here for a long time on Cape Cod, and I'm here in Boston for a long time. So, past the 4th of July. I hope you guys have a great 4th of July. Um, to all my friends that are, have reached out, thank you. Um, I appreciate all the comments. I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, I appreciate all the texts and I'm doing what I'm doing and uh, this is it. This is my life and this is what's going on. So love you guys and I will see you next time.